Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the degree of settlement versus dimensionless time, which we're going to be discussing in a second. So, we're going to be giving a graph. So this is a graph which plots the degree of settlement U. So U is the settlement at any time over the final settlement. So it ranges from 0% to 100%. So this is a point of zero settlement, and this would be a point of 100% settlement down here. And this axis is something called dimensionless time where we have CV, which we're going to define in a second, T, which is time, and H, which is not the layer thickness, but the drainage path we discussed in the previous video. <clears throat> so, we need to quickly discuss this factor TV. TV is a dimensionless time, so this actually doesn't have any dimensions. The dimensions are all in here, which all will cancel out. Now, the reason it's dimensionless is because we, with many samples, you could be having a sample which has its final settlement reached in 10 seconds. You could have another example where the final settlement is reached in, I don't know, 20 years. So what they do is they make it dimensionless so, they, so that it's dependent on the situation, not on a dimension of time. So that's why it's dimensionless. Now, if we were just to find these things, so we have that U equals the S, the settlement at any time, over the final settlement. So obviously when the final settlement equals the when, when you're looking at s when you're looking at a time of final settlement over the final settlement you're getting to 100%. So it just ranges from 0 to 100%. And tv equals cv times t on h squared. So cv is called the